Hello and welcome into the 3D. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to make double jump by using blueprints. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to make it without using blueprints. First, I will start creating the jump input. And if you already have a jump input, you can skip this step. But since I don't have one, I will create it from scratch. So let's go under settings, project settings, and under the engine, find the input and click on it. In this tab, find the action mappings and click on this plus icon to create a new action mapping. Rename it as jump and assign a key. I will assign spacebar, but you can assign any key that you like. So we are done with the project settings. Close this tab, then let's find your player blueprint. For me, it is inside the blueprint, BP third person character, which comes with the Unreal Engine's third person character template. If you double click on this, it will open the character blueprints. Find yourself an empty space and call the input that we have created, which renamed as jump. It is under the input, action events, jump. It is simply asking what you want to do when you press and when you release. So when we press, we want to call the jump function. And when we release, we want to call the stop jumping function. Great. Now we did set up the jump blueprint. Compile and save. Minimize this tab and press play. You will see that now we are able to jump but we are still not able to double jump. So easiest way to make the double jump is go back to your character blueprint and find the character blueprint self attribute. This is a default attribute when you create character blueprint and it includes lots of settings inside. Click on it, go to the details panel, scroll down and find the jump max count under the character settings. On default, it is set to 1, so it means we can jump once, but if you set this one to 2, compile and save, press play and you will see that we can double jump and we can do it as much as we want. So this is how you can make double jump without using blueprints and if you want to go one step further, and create something like jetpack, go back to your character blueprint and click on the self again. Go to the details panel and find the jump max hold time setting under the character settings. On default, it is set to zero, but if you increase this number, let's say to one, compile and save, press play, and you will see that if I keep holding my input key on the second press, it will go up for a second, then after that one second, it will drop you off. So this was another mechanic that you can use for your game. Now go back to your engine and keep developing your project. If you need help or if you want to see more content on this channel, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.